Hello everyone. Today's topic is olfactory adaptation or olfactory fatigue. We have already made olfaction video. You can visit that in the special senses playlist. But just to have a rough look, we know that this is cribriform plate and through which the olfactory cells passes. These are the cilias which are exposed to the any smell. Okay. These are olfactory cells which synapse on mitral or tufted cells in glomerulus okay and the whole part is called olfactory bulb which leads to olfactory tract leading to higher centers just roughly if we see the main information goes which smell it is goes to primary olfactory cortex it can go to frontal cortex for perception of smell we become aware of that smell to hypothalamus and amygdala for emotional response of smell emotional aspect because smells are always related with some good events or bad events right if we can memorize those events because if we smell anything so the events which were priorly related with uh, this that smell so we always memorize them fine so that that function is played by hippocampus now what is olfactory fatigue Olfactory fatigue is a sensory adaptation happens when body sensory receptors are exposed to particular stimuli like loud noise. So that will be auditory adaptation. High temperature, strong scents. This is olfactory adaptation. For long enough that the receptor decreases the sensitivity to stimuli and make them less noticeable. Okay. So if, for example, if we enter in a room where we have a perfume smell and after some time the smell decreases we feel that smell very less so what is adaptation or fatigue is decrease in olfactory sensitivity subsequent to stimulation of the sense of smell so in other terms we can say that increase in order threshold or decline in intensity of that order that is fatigue let's see mechanism of that so this is olfactory cell and this is cilia. So this is the inverted image. This is the normal image what we have. Olfactory cilia exposed to nasal cavity and then we have olfactory cells. So if this is inverted. So if we zoom this part of cilia where the transduction part, transduction occurs so that we can smell. How it occurs? Let's see that. So how basically any order having amino acids because of the amino acids we perceive with smell it is. They are able to bind the receptor which is a G protein receptor here. Ultimately leading to activation of adenyl cyclase. AC adenyl cyclase leading to cyclic AMP formation. Now this cyclic AMP mediated channels are there. Which are the cation channels. So whenever cyclic AMP increases. There is sodium or calcium influx. Fine. If calcium accumulation occurs more inside the cell, what happens is, so till now, the opening of channel and calcium influx leads to, basically, we came to know about the odor. So this is smell. Why we smell? Because any odorant having some amino acid sequence, it binds to the receptor and ultimately calcium or sodium influx occur. That's why we smell that thing. But ultimately, if calcium accumulates more, it binds with calcium colmodulin, colmodulin molecule here. So calcium colmodulin complex, it basically inhibit this channel and close this channel. Okay, so that's why the receptor sensitivity decreases. We are not able to smell that order further. So this decrease in sensitivity because of the calcium colmodulin complex is called olfactory adaptation or fatigue fine so if you get a question like this you have to just define it and see the mechanism okay there are some facts about olfactory discrimination you can be asked in your exam so we can uh, we can smell specific orders because of the amino acid sequence present okay and the receptors their sensitivity decrease with age fine the sensitivity depends on the receptor activation so whenever receptor is closed receptor are not activated we can't we can't smell that so sensitivity depends on the number of stimulus and many other factors we'll see and individual receptors they respond differently with different orders and different combinations also so with the different combination the receptors are excited different degree 
and depending on that we smell and the factors which affect olfactions are volatility of substance higher the volatility higher we can smell okay water soluble lipid soluble okay lipid soluble substances they can penetrate the the cilia membrane easily strength of stimulus it will be more obviously we more smell the shape and carbon chain length of odorant fine so these are the factors which basically enhances the smell fine these are most importantly not asked in your exam but just for facts we you should know you can be asked in five so that's all about the olfactory fatigue okay so if you get such question you have to just define it and you you just show the physiology the mechanism part of it that's it okay thank you so much